In New Britain, will a deal end the nasty dispute between City Hall and landlords around town? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. New Britain and landlords in the city have been arguing for months over a hike in fees. Well, now it seems that a compromise has been hammered out, but is it really a done deal? And what does it all mean for tenants living in those buildings? News 8's Kent Pierce went looking for answers. Those are angry landlords outside New Britain City Hall earlier this year. They were angry about a registration fee the city wanted to charge landlords who don't live in the city. Now the mayor's spokesman says they've reached a compromise. The mayor's been listening to a lot of the concerns from landlords um, and addressed some of them. The previous plan charged absentee landlords a $150 registration fee for every unit they own. This compromise lowers that to $50 for the first three apartments, $40 for the next 10, and then 35 for every unit after that. But the lawyer for some of the city's biggest landlords, Dan Silver, says his clients will still fight this. The city is still attempting to uh, take care of a budget deficit on the backs of out-of-town landlords. And we still feel that there are some great legal issues which need to be resolved by the courts in this. The city says the money from the registration fees will go towards paying blight enforcement officers to keep more of the city from looking like this. But Attorney Silver says legally the registration fee can only cover the costs of registration and it can't go towards anti-blight efforts. In this case, even a $50 a fee has no bearing on the cost of administering this plan uh, as there are no costs to the city of New Britain. All a landlord has to do is submit an application and have his name on file. This will stand. This is going to be the law of the land where it's going to prevail. Um, unfortunately, there's a small group of landlords who just want to run their properties in the ground and continue to collect the rent, and they'll stand in the way of any effort. The city will have public hearings on the fee changes, and opponents have a court date to stop it scheduled for March. In New Britain, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.